guys welcome to this video so in this video i will actually show you a video encoder and video compressor which i developed inside react chess using ffmpg webassembly library and it is actually deployed on my website freemediatools.com you can check out live right here the link is given in the description you can directly purchase this full project so if you go to my website freemediatools.com the latest tool that I added, if you drag down, you will found out this FFMPG WebAssembly Ultimate Video Editor. If you go to this tool, you will land on this page. It will look something like this. Here you need to select your video file. So it can have any extension, AVI, GIF, AVI, GIF, and uh, MP4, M MKV. Any extension is supported. All extensions are supported. So you can even drag and drop or you can click to actually select your uh, file right here whichever file that you want to select so as you select right here you will actually see the file playing as well so there is a built-in video player as well so you can turn on the turn off the volume so you can go to any location and you can see the uh, trimmer is there you can select whichever portion of the video that you want to apply the effect right here so let's suppose I want to select this portion of the video I need to trim this portion you can even make a GIF as well so there are these options all these options you can customize you can change the frame rate you can change the width of the video cycle times so all these uh, are mentioned right here what these options do so it's an advanced video editor that I made inside FFMPG WebAssembly library so it covers all aspects if you want to encode your video if you will need to compress it if you need to trim the video all operations are supported the link is given in the description guys if you need the full source code of this project it is coded inside react chairs using typescript and we have used the FFMPG WebAssembly library so in the source directory you will see that components all these applications is split into different components right here and if you purchase the source code guys you will be redirected to google drive where you will actually get the zip file so you can see that you will get the zip file you need to extract it to actually get this directory structure and i am running this on local server local uh, http localhost 5173 if you're running it for the very first time after you purchase it you need to simply say npmi this will actually install all the modules which are mentioned in the package.json file and it will create a node modules folder at the left hand side so now after this you just need to say npm run dev so this will actually start the development server on localhost 5173 so we can be visit localhost 5173 as well it will also show me the same result you will see that now it will allow us to actually select your video file so now again you can do the same thing so whichever portion that you want to select you can select using these sliders from and to if you need to compress any of the video like this so I need to trim out this portion so now you can uh, just change the frame rate the width and the height of the video so, and then if I want to compress this portion I can increase this compression level to 100% or we can just 50% so as you increase the slider the video size will become low but the quality will reduce so depending upon you can play with this tool and you can also change the bit rate as well of the audio as well so bit rate 800k is the default but you can change the bit rate just uh, do this so if I just uh, let's suppose if I want to convert this so all these extensions are supported so it's a mp4 file by default it is selected mp4 if you want to convert this into a web m webp file so I will simply say I want to convert this into mkv so then you there is this you can also select color space conversion as well if you have a NVIDIA GPU you can select this option to actually increase the speed and then click on this button to actually convert and now if you see the file name so here is the file name here I think you need to simply include the extension as well
let me see what is the to me So you can see that how uh, before purchasing it guys you can try this tool on my website in the checkout page I have given the live link before you do this you can try out this tool so if I want to If you need to convert this into a GIF animation, it, you can even do that as well. So now you can see the conversion is uh, started and you will also sh see the live progress bar as well like this. How much time is remaining. It will also give you the command as well. Of if you want to execute ffmpg locally as well it will also generate a command as well so now you can see that it is actually your gif animation is uh, downloaded you can see that if you want to convert this into any other extension and now it will again do the same task so So here you need to give the file name, so it, it needs to be 0. So just if you are facing this error, you can just type here 0 and you will not face any error. Just type 0 and you will not face any error. This is actually your file name, whatever is the file name that you want to give, you need to give the file name. So you can see that uh, it has, you can even control the size of the video. So 1280 is the original size. You can increase the frame rate as well to 60 frame rate. And uh, you can see that my compression level is 34. That's why the quality was of the video was reduced. You can change this compression level to zero and then click on that. And now the conversion will start because the quality will not be compromised because compression level is zero so now you will see the quality of the video if I just change these options frame rate to 60 width of the video will be 1280 so the quality resolution will be 1280 by 7, 720 and uh, we have changed this bit rate from 30 to 60 so just wait for the conversion to complete so so you can see that we basically trim this video using these sliders so you can trim any portion in the video by using these sliders and uh, it will also only trim this portion out so if you change these options it will take a lot more time because depending upon which options you select a bitrate option or so encoding may take some time so it is better that you just uh, let it happen let it execute so you can make do an, uh, other works as well by just putting this window so when it completes the video will automatically download so no need to worry about it so you can see the project is coded inside TypeScript and React.js it's a complete project and uh, after you purchase it you will get this zip file the link is given guys you can go to my website procodestore.com and purchase the full source code of this project and we have used ffmpg webassembly library if you don't know about uh, ffmpg webassembly library it is actually a actually a library which allows you to execute ffmpg directly in your browser so using this 
library as a base library for this project you can make awesome related applications related to FLMPG You will see this uh, progress here how much seconds have been processed so 17 seconds have been processed so you will also see this nice little progress bar which tells you how much conversion is done so it works in the browser that's the best part you don't need to download this inside your computer it works in the browser and you can deploy this into a real domain name if you want to so you don't need to download any software on your computer it works in the browser and it, it is pretty fast so if you need to do some kind of encoding compression or trimming part you can use this software and uh, you can modify the code if you get the code you can modify it you can extend this application as well and you will get to know how i coded this so it's a very good you can see that so that part has been trimmed so you can see that so only the audio has been trimmed so you can play with these uh, tools right here guys i don't have much knowledge about uh, video editing so all these encoders are available to you frame extraction compression level all these things you can control the size of the output assets as well you can control the bitrate as well so all these things you can control the link is given on my website freemediatools.com and uh, you can try it before purchasing it at the checkout page I have given this so this is the actual tool guys and if you want to deploy this it's very simple there is a command npm run build this will actually create a dist folder right inside your root directory it will compile all your project assets and you can see that it compiled it now you need to simply deploy this or upload this into your hosting platform hosting folder it can be shared hosting cloud hosting anything so this is our overall project thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one